Saturday the 25th of January 2020 and it's about 9 degrees Celsius or 48 Fahrenheit out here and we have a little bit of activity in front of uh, the hives this morning they're coming out to stretch their wings a bit and I don't know how well you can see that but I've got a bit of a strain set up here on hive 3 or hive yeah hive 3 and I'm going to explain that in a minute um, so we're finally after constant week of downpour and deluge got a bit of a sunny break today so I can finally do what I need to do and we already have plants that are called snowdrops are in full bloom So anyway, I'm um, going to proceed indoors and we'll show you what's happened. Alright, so here we are at the indoor experimental nuke and you notice that the feeder box is gone. And if you recall my last video, we had put a towel over the entrance to keep the uh, minus degree temperatures from coming in the tube and chilling any brood that ran there. So the other day, after it warmed up, I went out and I took the towel off and I saw this rather large bee on uh, just at the entrance underneath the towel. Uh, well, that's kind of strange. So I gently picked it up. She was laying on her back and she was kicking. And um, so I gently picked her up and looked at her and sure enough, it was the queen. And there were a few other dead bees right at the entrance. So I held her in my hand for, you know, about a minute and she was scurrying about in my hand. So I brought her in and I put her back in the box and I watched for a bit and the bees were feeding her and they were cleaning her and they were looking after her. Uh, well, that's kind of strange that she would just be outside. So I waited about half an hour. And I came in to make sure everything was okay, and I took the frames out, and they had abandoned the uh, the brood. There was no bees on the brood whatsoever. They just completely abandoned it. And there was no queen in the box. So I went back outside, and sure enough, she was back out on the landing board. She had gone through the hive, through down through the feeder box, out through the hive, and back outside and she was in a lot rougher shape than when I first found her because it was still you know like three degrees Celsius it wasn't very warm so I brought her back in and I tried to warm her up and she sort of started moving around again and I put her back in the, the top feeder box and the bees were looking after her and stuff and I closed off the entrance completely, so if she thought she needed to go out again, she couldn't. And so I checked the next morning, and she had stuck her face down in a frame, or in a cell, and she was surrounded by bees trying to tend to her, but she would not come out of the cell. And I gently got a, a little pick and I get her out of the cell and she's pretty much dead so I don't know why she wanted to commit suicide um, I got the feeling that because the bees were starting to die off in the box that um, they decided that the hive wasn't a viable place to live anymore and they were just going to all leave um, and one thing I've learned about bees is that uh, if they get something in their mind that they're going to do something, they're just going to do it regardless. Such as swarming or uh, up and leaving a hive for whatever given reason. And I think that's what had happened. There wasn't enough bees left in the box to actually sustain a viable hive and they just decided to leave. Um, so, I'm going to take this all apart, 
There's no reason for it to be here anymore. And what I've done outside is I've gathered the remainder of the bees that were in here, uh, the worker bees, and they're all in the feeder box and they're separated from hive three with, with a screen inside the feeder box. So I'm gonna give them a couple hours let them get used to the scent of the, the new box, and then I'll release them and see if they go down in. And if so, then there'll be, you know, like, there weren't many bees, there was probably 40 or 50. So it's not a lot, but I'd rather see them get some more use out of their life instead of just uh, leaving them to die. So, anyway, so the experiment sort of worked and it sort of didn't. And it's more on the didn't side because there's nothing left in here. So, anyway, that's the update. And um, I really wish they could have made it through. Um, but, you know, you experiment with things with these and you learn as you go. And I think if I, uh, if I ever have a, an October diode again like that and there's still a queen with a few bees... I'm going to open one of my hives and I'm going to grab a bunch of bees out of it and put them all in the nuke together. And that way there's more chance of survival. So anyway, hope you're all having a good day and uh, yeah. So that's what's been going on this week and uh, we'll hopefully talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.